mandala Father, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, you, Lord, we bless your holy name. Tonight, welcome to man to man. To till the end. I worship you. Yes, Jesus. Let's worship the faithful one tonight. The faithful to fail me. God did not fail us. He will never fail us. Never ever will he fail us. Welcome on Instagram. Welcome on Facebook. As you join, just begin to bless God. We are worshiping the faithful God tonight. We worship the faithful God tonight. We worship the faithful God tonight. Welcome, welcome, welcome to December edition of Man to Man. Like we will first of all worship the King of Kings before we do any other thing. We will spend quality time to bless him. Oh, faithful Father, we bless you. Faithful Father, we worship you. Welcome to Man to Man. Please begin to share as you join. Ah, ah, yesterday, today, and forevermore. What you say is what you do. Ah, ya gada la ba 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 I worship you. I worship you. I do Can you just worship the faithful father tonight? Worship the faithful father tonight. This is the 12th month. He's been faithful from January. From the beginning of time. Worship the faithful father. He never so faithful to fail me. He never failed you. He will not begin now. He never failed our fathers of old. He will not begin now. He will not begin now. Faithful father. Faithful father. Faithful father. Faithful Father, the one that keeps to his word. When he says it, it is so. Lord, we worship you. Faithful God. When I remember his faithfulness, my faith is boosted. He's a faithful God. Man can disappoint. The King of Kings will never disappoint you. Ah, faithful Father. Faithful Father will bless you. Can you just worship God? Whatever you are doing, wherever you are, just join to just join us to worship the King of Kings. Ah oh Lord, na ke pariata soto lega ya gadaba. Ndi ala, ya to love it to me. Ma le 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 ga ya gara ba 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 ba. We bless your name, we worship you, Lord. Welcome on Instagram, we welcome you. Welcome on Instagram, welcome on Facebook. As you join, can I ask you to share, please? Mali Grebo Suta Liga Yaga da Baria da la Baba Baba Oh Lord, 
Lord. Makaba ye da da la ba ba ba. God is committed to our case. He's committed to us. Oh God. It is his faithfulness that kept you till this time. It is his faithfulness that kept you to this time. Hallelujah. 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 Oh rekada bali da da ba 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 ba. Oh God, you are good. Oh God, Lord, you are faithful. You are faithful forevermore. The faithfulness of God kept us till December. If not by his faithfulness. Faithfulness, a faithful person is all that sticks to his word. That has integrity. When he says it, it is so. That is a faithful, a, a, someone that is committed to that which he says. Someone that is committed. That's that's a faithful person. And we understand that God is a faithful God. Hallelujah. God is a faithful God. God is a faithful God. It's only his faithfulness is that makes us to rely on him, to rest on him and rest on his word because he's a faithful one. He's not, a, he's not, he's not one that is unfaithful. He's faithful. God is faithful. It's amazing. That's the word. He's faithful. He, he, because he's faithful, you can trust that he will not leave you comfortless. In fact, your being alive at this time is a testament to its faithfulness. That you are still living and well now. The, that was not the plan of the devil. But God said, no, no. The Bible says he looked around. He didn't see who, who, who is greater than I can swear by. The Bible says he swore by himself. He said, no, no, no. I, I'm, too, I, I'm too much to fail. I'm too much to go back on my word. That's God. He said, no, I've spoken. It must fulfill that which I, 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 I've sent it to do. When I send my word, it must perform the assignment that I've sent it to do, that is God. He's faithful. So when he says a thing, it will come to pass. His time is not our time. A thousand years is like a day in his sight. But he's faithful. He continues. He keeps at it. And that's what we're going to do. We are worshipping him tonight. The king of kings, the lord of lords. We adore him. We magnify him forevermore. We magnify him forevermore. We magnify him. And you know, this, this is December. We are, this is what we're going to do. We are spending more time than we usually will do to just worship him. To just worship him. Next week, by the grace of God, we're going to be doing maybe for two Fridays before the year runs out. We'll do a recap of what we did all through this year. If you're following us, you will know that we, we, we spent the better part of the year, I think from January, uh, middle of January or thereabout, we spent it up until now, we were talking about the pursuit of purpose. I never knew it was going to take us that long. It, God just, God started revealing more to us, like more than we ever thought. And before we know it, the whole year, we are talking about purpose, the pursuit of purpose, and they were looked at it from different angles as the Holy Spirit was expounding it to us and showing us uh, different angles and revelations. If you missed any, just please go to our YouTube channel at David Kolokewo and, 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 and be blessed by the materials that we have there. We, de we dealt with purpose from the whole of the year, as it were, the whole of the year. By the grace of God, um, Next year, we are starting another series. Again, I don't know how long that is going to take, but the Lord has instructed us to start another series next year. Um, I don't know. What, what, maybe it's going to be in January. Or going to be, or f I know usually if our first two uh, Fridays will be to, to acknowledge God and to bless His holy name and to, you know. So whenever He, he, he gives us the go ahead to start off, it's likely going to be in January, maybe third week in January or thereabout. You know, depending on how the Holy Spirit leads and, and directs us, 
we will start a new series. I will be um, informing us about the new series uh, shortly. I don't know if I'm going to say it today or, or announce it today or next Friday, but we're starting mm -hmm. a powerful, powerful series uh, next uh, in January by the grace of God. Don't miss it. Every Friday, this time, one hour or less, as we are able to do, we will be dealing with that series. But for for to this year, we're rounding off. As we're rounding off, we're rounding off our teaching, our discussion on um, on on the pursuit of purpose. We talked about and the enabler of purpose. We we talk, so we'll, we'll do a recap as the Lord helps us. Uh, from next Friday, by the grace of God, we'll do a recap. We'll do a recap for, I think, two uh, Fridays uh, before we take a break. And then we'll begin again uh, second week in, in January by the special grace of God. Second week. But tonight, uh, again, I welcome you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You have come uh, to the altar of the Most High. And the Lord God Almighty will bless you. Now, this is December. We must bless him. Let me read the scripture to you. Psalm 89 verse 15. Psalm 89 verse 15. Blessed are those who have learned to acclaim you, O God. Blessed are those. So it's not enough mm -hmm. to say praise God, worship God, and do all of that. When you do it, it carries a blessing for you on its own. To acclaim him is to proclaim, is to exalt him. To acclaim is to praise him. Actually, another version talks about, use the word praise. Blessed are those who praise God. If you praise God, automatically it carries a certain measure of blessing. Is You are not, don't, don't think that you're just doing it for God. Yes, that is what he wants. But in fact, he do, what he does, he rewards you because you praise him. Because you acclaim him. Can I ask you tonight to acclaim the king of kings? To exalt the king of kings that kept you all through this year. That sustained you. That, 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 that proved himself faithful in your life. I know, I know, all your, it's not all everything that you desire that, that happened to you, but then God did more than you expected. God gave you pleasant surprises. And more importantly, God even, you are still standing in faith. You didn't fall by the wayside. You are still standing as a child of God. The, 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 the price that he paid for your soul and you are still standing. You have not made him to weep over you. Jesus had, has not wept over you. He, he's, you, you. You are still making him proud as a child of God. When children of God are being counted, you are you, you, you stand up to be counted. Can I ask you to bless God? Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Can I ask you to bless God tonight? Can I ask you to worship God tonight? Can I ask you to say, I thank you for saving my soul. I thank you that of the truth. I was somewhere today. I was somewhere today. And people were discussing you know, they were discussing, but they didn't know me. They didn't know much about me, and they were discussing. Uh, and uh, I've been there a, a couple of times. Uh, and then they decided to send someone, uh, and um, decided to send someone to me to ask me. Because one of them said that they like the way I carry myself to the glory of God, and that they hope that I'm a Muslim. <laughs> They hope that I'm a Muslim. Why? Because they saw, the, but, but they, what, they said, no, no, he, he's not. So they came to, they now sent someone to ask me, to ask me, are you a Christian? Or, I was so happy. It was an opening for me. So, oh, I'm a child of God. I'm a Christian. And I started from there. So, hey, yes, yes, yes. You're a Christian. Then the other said, oh, yeah. I, I said, do you, are you a Christian? You know, it, it's such a, glorious thing to be counted as a child of God 
as a child of God, as a child of God, as a child of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Oh God. He says, blessed are those who have learned to acclaim you, O oh God. Why? For there we walk in the light of your presence. When you praise God, you are walking in the light of his presence. When you praise him, when you praise him, Psalm 89 verse 15, when you praise him, his presence comes upon you. You are walking in his presence. You are walking. You are carrying his presence wherever you go. When when praises do not depart from, do not do not cease from your mouth. When praises do not cease continually, 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 you praise him. You praise him. You just worship him. Hallelujah to Jesus. Many scriptures command us. Some command. Some some advise us. Some instruct us. To praise him. And believe me, he's, you cannot overpraise him. You cannot, you cannot overpraise God. He is worthy. Bible says, be thankful. Another scripture says, offer to God thanksgiving. And, and you know, you know what, what, what first Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18 says? It says, In everything that is deep. In everything, give thanks. Hallelujah. In everything, give thanks. In every, that is such a, a, a bold statement. When I'm rich, he says, praise him. In everything, give thanks. When I'm faced with situations I don't understand, he says, give thanks. When I wake up on the wrong side of the bed, Open your mouth and give thanks. When I'm not in the perfect health that I would want to be, he says, give thanks. When I'm disturbed by or afflicted here and there, he says, in everything, give thanks. Ah! In everything. When what I plan is, is not appearing to be working the way it should, he says, give thanks. My goodness. In everything. In everything, it's not only when things are going the way I want them to go. In everything, give, can I ask you to give thanks? In everything, in everything. You know, one of the things that we mentioned in the course of um, uh, the sessions in, 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 in man to man or in the course of the year was that one of the things that take away gratitude and one of the things that take the away the, your ability to give thanks is comparison when you look at maybe the reason why you are you, you you are you are hesitant in praising god and appreciating yourself is because maybe you, you know a brother somewhere a friend there a relative there that you think is doing better than you and, and, and that makes you hesitate that makes you want to say oh i wish i am I am, I am, I am better. I wish this is, it, it, it diminishes your enthusiasm to praise God, to want to, to bless God, you know. He, 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 it diminishes it. But when you look at, you, you realize that this matter is between you and your God, you appreciate him. In my language, I love this statement. Say, modupe te mi. I thank God for my own. I modupe te mi. Eh, but there are those who already have these one million things more than what you have. Modupe te mi. I thank God for my own. I thank God. I love that statement so much. Modupe te mi. But this, this, this. Oh, some people have your age. You know? Modupe te mi. Modupe te mi. Edatoba monuro. Lole dupe o eda to ba monuro lole dupe o when you think deep think deep think deep god has been good to you this year you know if you have problems giving thanks check your focus 
If you have, if your if your mouth is not flowing in things continuously, check your focus. What are you focusing on? What are you looking at? What have you allowed the devil to put before you? What is it? Check your focus. If you have problem giving thanks, if you have problem appreciating God, check your focus. How is it? Is it is it a case of half empty or half full? That bottle in front of you. How do you see it? Is that bottle in front of you in your eye or your eye? According to your own perception, is it half empty or half full? The same bottle. The same bottle. When you have a bottle, a, a bottle of water, and, 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 and maybe it gets to this point. A bottle of water gets to this point. If you ask two people to describe that water, even this one now. If you ask some people to describe the way this water is. Some will say it's almost finished. Some will say it's almost full. Is it half full or half? What's your focus? Where are you looking at that situation? From which angle? That's why I don't forget the scripture I quoted first Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. In everything, give thanks. I choose to see the goodness of God, not this, not the bragging of the devil. I choose to see the goodness of God. I choose to see the goodness of God. The goodness of God. God is good. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. That's what we are doing tonight. We are we're, we're, we're spending extra time blessing him. Ah, shout hallelujah anyhow. There's that song that we used to sing. You know, you know, I, I don't know the whole of the shout hallelujah anyhow. Don't let the devil get you down. That third line, I don't, I can't remember it. You know, says lift your voice and praise the Lord. Something like shout hallelujah anyhow. Anyhow, any which way, make sure. You know, the meaning of hallelujah is praise the Lord. Any which way, fill your mouth. Prepare to launch into the new year. After, we must be, you spend quality time to thank him for 2021. All through, I always say that the whole of December, I, 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 I'm, yet to, I'm yet to see churches who, that, 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 well, I'm not saying there are no churches, but I'm yet to see churches. I wish you would commit December 1 to December 31st just to praise and worship God. 31 days of praise and worship. 31 days of praise and worship to just the goodness of God. 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 I mean, the goodness of God. God is good. You know, someone sent a chat. One of my, one of my, one of my daughters in the Lord sent me a chat this morning, and that chat ministered to me so much. I, and I, I was so, I was so happy because I know her. I know, I know for her to have sent such a chat. I, I, I was so glad for her. I was so happy for her. And and I'm gonna read a part of that that chat tonight to encourage someone. You know, it, it's a long chat, but I will read a part of it. I I wrote out a part of it to encourage someone he says i am consciously and determinedly take teaching myself to be more grateful he says i am consciously and determinedly i love those two words consciously and determinedly consciously in other words i have an option to if i if I don't determine, there are enough reasons for me not to, not to praise God. If I don't determine, like I always say, be intentional about what you do. Don't just allow things to fall on your laps. Be intentional. And this, my wonderful daughter says, I'm consciously and determinedly teaching myself to be more grateful. Please, out there, be conscious. 
consciously, determinedly be grateful to God. He says to focus and to see what God has done instead of complaining about what I'm trusting him for. That, 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 that gladdened my heart. He says to focus. You need to focus and see what God has done instead of complaining about what I'm trusting him for. He says I am consciously and determinedly teaching myself to be more grateful. Can I ask you, let that be what you will do this year for yourself as you enter into the new year. Let that be be let that be what will be your portion one of the things that god frowns at when i look at is is complain and grumbling and criticism complain grumbling uh, why you shouldn't do it no fill your lips with 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 praise with thanksgiving god is good god is faithful Oh, but I've not. No, I choose. I am conscious. I am intentional in worshiping God. And if you now look at that that Psalm Psalm eighty nine that we that I quoted, when you now praise Him, when you bless Him, when you acclaim Him, you begin to operate under His presence. You begin to operate under the light of His presence. You are He He. You don't you don't forget Scripture says. He inhabits the praise of his people. So when you praise him, he's, in, he's there. What brings him down to your situation, brings him down to your life. You can't, you, you, are carry, you can't be complaining and he, he, he comes with you. He, he, he walks with you. He, doesn't, he wouldn't walk with you. If you want his presence, worship him. And you sense his presence come down. Are you at the place of work? Worship him as your place of work. Fill your lips. Just be singing. If it's to home, home worship songs. If it's to speak in the heavenly language, speak in the heavenly language. Just be carry his presence wherever you go. And the best way to carry his presence is to worship him. Is to praise him. Is to thank him. That's the best way to carry his presence. Where you fill your lips with good things, not with complaints. Not with complaints. Hallelujah. Oh God, thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Can I just ask you one more time to bless him forevermore. Bless him forevermore. Ah, Oh Lord Jesus. Mm. Oh, thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood. Marika la posonto lega yagada bariada laba. Oh God, I sense in my spirit right now the blood of Jesus. That is 21 days. You see, let me tell you something. This exactly it has just manifested itself right now. When you worship him, don't forget that scripture again. When you worship him, 